remember, if you're a budding announcer, never, ever talk during a nitro burnout. Understood. But if you're a terrible announcer... Which, fortunately, I, I, you're I, not. I still won't talk during the burnout. Hey, how about hey, hey, how about this? How about birthday wishes today? Happy birthday, Tony Stewart. Tony Stewart and... Tommy DeLago. Tommy DeLago and Alan Reinhardt. And Alan Reinhardt. Big 6 Happy 0 for him today. So, all around. So Tony Stewart's in the house here. And, uh, boy, he's been having a good last few weeks, hasn't he? He's one as a car owner. He's one as a car driver. That, that guy... I'm pretty sure if they had a shopping cart class, he'd have a championship in that by the end of the year. Working with the folks at Mopar, direct connection to the Dodge Power Brokers, Neil Strasbaugh, Mike Damagala. This is the team, Jack, I think, watching Top Fuel this year that has come into its own the most. They're third in points. They've not won an event yet. But Neil and Mike, this is a new team last year. The thing everybody forgets, Matt Hagen, that was a turnkey operation right. they brought over from PSR. Neil and Mike was a new team they put together, new crew people, new parts, new pieces. They were allowed by Tony to kind of feel things out across the course of the season, and it has really started to pay dividends this year. Let's listen. Three seventy three six at 331 miles per hour, and Leah Pruitt stays number nine while improving two hundredths of a second. How tight is top fuel right now, Jack? From third to ninth are separated by 19 thousandths of a second, or in other words, a driver's race. I just wanted to see if you could pronounce thousandths. That's a tough one. How'd I do? Perfect. Okay. Good. Say circuitous. Circuitous. Wow, you are two for two. Okay. So if you guys got to listen to that run, it would be wonderful to overlay on the big screen the engine RPM and the clutch graph because that thing leaves at 8,600 RPM as the clutch starts to tug the engine down and then you're getting to a point where it's going to shake the tires. They have, they have distorted to where they look like a tank tread. You gotta let them go back to round. So what the crew chiefs do is they pull a bunch of horsepower out by yanking 18 or 20 degrees of timing out. The engine RPM comes down a little bit and then as they feed the timing back in, they start to apply the lockup stages of the clutch. You got 12 more levers that start tugging on that engine more and applying more of that torque to the rear end. And that's why you hear that RPM come down and then it starts singing at the finish line. 